Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Elliot Wave Principal. I am your host, Shaheen. Now we have stunning price movement in almost every pair that we normally discuss. That includes gold, silver, euro, British pound, and Canadian dollar. I'm going to discuss Bitcoin as well today. So I'm going to update my analysis. And there is very, very nice price movement that we are coming, we are expecting. So if you uh, if you trade any of these items, please first of all do me a favor watch the whole video that will put uh, the video on um, On a larger audience more a people will be able to um, uh, Look at it uh, and it will be broadcasted on a larger level and if you like the video if you like the video do press thumbs up and appreciate the, uh, I'll really appreciate the comment section so enough of this uh, first of all there is definitely definitely interesting price behavior that's coming ahead of us and I'm going to give you guys if you are trading gold silver or a dollar index basket currency pairs this video is absolutely crucial for you uh, we are expecting some flash crash right I'm going to give you this much and I'm going to give you the analysis uh, as far as the uh, I'll, we'll talk more about all right first of all we are expecting flash crash but what's gonna happen in a uh, uh, we are going to discuss that in detail first of all euro on a four of uh, one hourly time frame here it is we have seen interesting price action and let me delete this so you can actually see uh, what's expected and there's on a smaller time frame uh, we were expecting for the prices to go further down in fact the they did not go down does that mean that it's done uh, we have on a smaller time frame we have interesting trading opportunity and that is we are expecting for the price to go up this is for tomorrow this is for Friday uh, and then uh, as soon as you see the break of this low that will be an indication that we are heading down but I'm pretty sure we are heading down that's what the analysis is come giving up. and uh, this analysis is uh, showing first of all for the day of tomorrow we are going to see uh, price movement upward and then we are going to see decline for the downward uh, we do not have I'm expecting that this top will not go further away from this particular top alright so use that in mind and then I'm expecting something amazing uh, in Joro in next few days uh, I'm not going to give the date here as far as the date is confirmed the date will be only available on my patreon and which I'll dis uh, clearly to tell on my patreon page so if you want to join that when is the bottom expected when you see the flash crash the only thing at that moment uh, will is gonna help you is not the wave labeling because during the flash crashes it's extremely extremely difficult to find when exactly the bottom is and I will be able to discuss that I have done my analysis and that uh, will be clearly done uh, discussed on my patreon page Alright, which is patreon.com forward slash Elliot Wave Green. So once again, as far as the analysis is concerned, if you're only looking for analysis, I'm looking for a clear uh, bullish day tomorrow. This is on, that's on Friday, 11th of February. And then I'm after that, I'm expecting a flash crash. And that should not actually start um, before Monday. So I'm expecting just one day of trading going up and then I'm expecting a turn coming back in the data. That's what the analysis is is telling me my research is telling me at least and once again if you are worried when the, once the price starts falling down sharply and if you're worried where the bottom is going to be because remember on a daily time frame and on a weekly time frame we are going to be posing major bottom right at that after that we're expecting for the price to go up so this bottom is very very essential very crucial uh, so if you are interested in finding that when it's going to happen I will discuss that on my patreon page once I have a look at uh, Canadian dollar, I'm expecting that Canadian dollar is done only one leg right over here. We are seeing A, B, and C and expanded flat. I'm expecting prices to come down initially. Uh, this is for tomorrow, and then uh, we are expecting for the price to go up all the way right over here. And this is the uh, in interesting price behavior. That first of all, uh, we have seen this leg, the correction, another leg down is expected, and then I'm expecting that we are going to see prices to go up. Now this is Canadian dollar. There's a possibility you might see a little deeper uh, correction. So keep that in mind uh, as far as Canadian dollar is concerned. British pound is also showing very interesting price action. First of all, uh, let me delete this. Uh, we are expecting for the price to go up for tomorrow. 
uh, and then from Monday we're expecting for the price to fall down and once again this is going to be one of the flash crashes that we are expecting in in uh, Euro I believe that a similar behavior is expected in uh, in British pound as well this is for hourly time frame and this is daily time frame so this is what we are expecting in uh, next few days I would say all right once again when exactly the bottom will be finding if you are interested in that information please come join me on my patreon dot uh, com forward slash Elliot wave green all right and the link will be available in the description if you guys are worried now a lot of people are trading gold so what is actually happening on gold term uh, we are actually looking for one final push uh, I'm expecting for the price to go on and then give us a one final push let me see if we can find our target the closer target that we have right over here is this one this is the closer target I'm looking for 1848 is the target I'm initially expecting for the gold to go and then I'm expecting from Monday we are going to see decline and this decline is gonna be a flash crash uh, when exactly as far as the price target is concerned uh, my research is giving me two three levels and they are at a very distant part so I do not want to give the levels uh, but as far as the bottom is concerned when exactly I um, uh, I did give couple of dates on YouTube channel uh, there is a revision on those dates. a lot of more data has come up so there's a revision on the those dates uh, on those dates if you want to confirm those dates come uh, have me on uh, uh, have a look at my patreon page and it will be clearly avail available on that one let's not talk about this one first of all so I'm expecting that a flash crash is expected where exactly the bottom would be once again my research is giving me two three distance uh, targets and some of them are unbelievable target but we can only and only I'm going to rely on the bottom occurring on the date so that will be a good interesting thing if you guys are interested let have once again let's like silver is uh, a lot of people have seen 15 minute chart and it has definitely scared them silver I believe that we still have some uh, price movement left on the bullish side silver is concerned I'm expecting that there is a resistance coming on the sideline let me have a look if I can find it right over here so on the upside I'm expecting that we are gonna see uh, probably this which is 2397 and then I'm expecting that we will see reversal uh, as of Monday it should start we are also once again expecting a flash crash uh, a what is gonna cause the forces are already intact and I'm expecting that this is gonna happen very soon starting from Monday Bitcoin uh, first of all we have seen uh, in my previous analysis when I did indicate that this top is the support line is very important and we were expecting that we have one two three four and five in case when the support line broken so it's clearly a bullish signal for Bitcoin that means the uh, the five wave confirmation is right over here I did indicate on my analysis uh, we can now say that this is one two three four and five right so we can now say with a higher accuracy well first of all because the major trend line that's covering the whole data is broken on a smaller time frame let's have a look what's new happening first of all we have seen going price going up and we have seen a flat correction and then we are seeing there's a possibility that she's whole movement is one uh, uh, five phase structure there's a possibility we have seen uh, on 30 minute chart we have seen three tops one two and three tops this is pretty dangerous there's a possibility for the pullback right over here all right if I was trading Bitcoin I would wait for the pullback to occur or if in case I'm wrong in that case this pullback does not occur in that case I would wait for the break of the top and then once again I'm bullish right over here so first of all the price is gonna come right over here to see this this is what I'm initially looking for the three double the th triple tops are dangerous and that's what the prices are expecting and uh, that we might see prices coming down all the way in this region if however price goes beyond 45,500 uh, let's, let's say it's, uh, right over here is 45,800 so wait for the price to go 300 above at 5,000 uh, 46,100 as soon as price reaches 46,100 then we are definitely looking for further upside in Bitcoin on a longer time frame uh, we are looking for the price to go right over here right 
so I'm bullish on Bitcoin I didn't uh, told you guys did tell you guys about it and uh, that couple of things are affected uh, this side wave pattern is extremely extremely dangerous uh, so I am currently looking keeping a close eye on on this one thing that we can see so far from the data available is that we are definitely going to go up and uh, at least the least thing we are going to do is retest the top right over here this is the least thing that's going to happen uh, looking from the data once again this uh, horizontal support is absolutely crucial absolutely crucial if this horizontal support gets broken we're going for further down so these are important points that I'm giving I'm bullish on Bitcoin I'm expecting that we are going to definitely see a retest of 68,000 67,000 area and if prices fall below uh, 28,500 that will means we are going further down uh, on a smaller time frame I did tell you guys that I'm expecting that there is a 30 minute chart there is a triple top that we are expecting one two uh, one two and three we have already seen it so I'm expecting that this is going to push prices further down if prices fall find further down in this area it's definitely going to be very interesting buy right over here there is a possibility in rare cases that price can actually come all the way down right over here too so be really careful this is very interesting uh, probability that we are seeing at it and for and to help us in our trading we can wait for the prices to jump up above so right now we are in the middle range be really careful as far as the price section is concerned i wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye